Today, we are going to explain about the earthquake resistant structures as the part of our experiential learning project. So, earthquake is one of the most devastating natural disasters which can cause immense loss of life and property. Whenever an earthquake is triggered, it releases huge amount of energy in the form of seismic waves. So, in this modern era of technological advancement, we are going to demonstrate how earthquake resistant building works with the help of a working model. So, our model mainly focuses on the two things. First, the tune mass damper and the second one, the base isolation method. The main aim of a model is that the building should be strong enough to withstand the stimulated earthquake and the vibration of the building should be as minimal as possible. It is important to make sure that all buildings constructed should be earthquake resistant. These measures which have been demonstrated in, in our model would be life saving when implemented in real life. So the materials used are the table tennis balls to demonstrate the base isolation method. The combination of cardboard and steel rod contribute the structure of the building and the DC motor, battery and the speed controller are used to simulate the earthquake waves. Now I'm going to explain the working of the base isolation method used in earthquake resistant structures. This method is used in separating the base of the building from the ground. It acts as a cushion between the building and the ground. It involves um, putting materials made of rubber or lead between the foundation and the structure which act as base isolators. These base isolators absorb a lot of the earthquake impact and they reduce the swaying of the building. In our model, we have used table tennis balls as the base isolators. The, the model of the building is free to slightly roll over the table tennis balls which act as a cushion between the building and the ground. Had we not used this technique then the building would have immediately collapsed. So th this is how we have implemented the base isolation technique in our model. Another important technique used in earthquake resistant buildings is the tune mass damper which is also called a harmonic absorber. It is a heavy weight which is suspended from the top of the building and it is free to oscillate about a fixed point. So during an earthquake, the building sways left and right. So when the building sways towards the right side, the tune mass damper sways in the opposite direction which is the left side. So it prevents the excessive swaying of the building in the right direction. Similarly, when the building sways towards the left side, the tune mass damper again sways in the opposite direction which is the right side and pulls the building back and it again prevents the excessive movement of the building towards the left direction. There is a lot, if there is an excess movement of the building in one direction, then the building would collapse. In our model, the height of the building is 40 cm and each floor is 13 cm above the floor below it and we made the width of each floor as 17 and a half centimeter and so we have used a calculated length of the tune mass damper as, as 9.5 centimeter if we had used if we had made the tune mass damper any shorter then the amplitude of oscillation of the tune mass damper would be really small and there would not be enough strength to pull the building back when it sways in one direction and if we had made the length of the tune mass damper longer then there would be then the amplitude of oscillation would be really large and the building might not be able to handle the strength of the oscillation now we are going to look into the practical application of our model or why we need to integrate earthquake resistance in construction plan Earthquake causes death and by integrating these techniques of earthquake resistance we prevent the loss of life Collapsing of building will cause a lot of economical damage and a lot of money has to be spent on reconstruction of these buildings. In many urban areas, high-rise buildings are constructed close to each other. If one of the building does not include the earthquake resistant techniques and all other building has included these, 
let's say in an event of an earthquake this one building might collapse damaging the surrounding buildings and construction of earthquake resistant buildings will massively boost the country's economy Now we are going to look into the objectives of the earthquake resistant structures. To be strong enough to withstand earthquake, that is what it suggests. To save lives by not collapsing in the event of an earthquake. To implement earthquake resistant techniques in tuned mass damper technique and base isolation method in a successful manner. Not to cause damage to the surrounding building by collapsing directly on them. To be economically stable. and the construction should not be too complicated as it would require a lot of time money and labor skill for construction now we're going to look in to the illustration of our model which is further explained in depth now we're going to get a brief introduction to our model in the on the left side we have uh, the view of our model without the tuned mass damper on the right side The second photo shows how we have implemented base isolation technique with the, with the help of table tennis balls. The third photo shows our model with our tuned mass damper, which is gonna help, which is gonna reduce the impact during the earthquake. And on the right side, we have the circuit which, which is used to simulate the earthquake. First, we're going to look at how we have employed the base isolation method in our earthquake resistant model. We have done this successfully by adding the foundation primarily using the cardboard, and we have uh, constructed four walls around it, which mimics the type of a foundation that ideally uh, exists. We have then added <coughs> table tennis balls on four corners, which would um, act as the base isolators in a real life model. But here, the table tennis balls. prevents the contact between the uh, building and the foundation thus keeps it um, elevated and any movement caused to the foundation would not be directly translated onto the building um, uh, and the table tennis balls will move uh, in any direction that the foundation moves but the um, building will stay still next uh, i would like to explain how we have used steel rods here which have a very good uh, tensile strength and flexibility thus upon impact they will move according to the force applied uh, laterally also without uh, causing breakage or anything we have uh, reinforced them on multiple levels and we have made sure to keep them all intact uh, simulating a real uh, building another very important component of our earthquake resistant model is the tuned mass damper which has been um, calculated and with the length of the suspension which is also a very critical component and also the mass of the uh, tuned mass damper is very critical thus when we happen to shake the building or when the building shakes on its own the tuned mass damper moves in the opposite direction of the building and um, reduces the momentum uh, transferred or the inertia transferred to the building next we will look at how we have simulated an earthquake using a dc motor and a pulley first we uh, attach the pulley to the base using uh, this component right here and the dc motor is attached directly to the pulley which generates the power and then the dc motor is connected to a, a power controller or a speed controller uh, which we use to control the magnitude of the earthquake or the shaking in in our case which is then connected to our uh, a battery which provides energy and all of this in working together in harmony creates the shaking and simulates a proper earthquake for us uh, to show the effects of base isolation and tuned mass damper
now I would like to show uh, how a tune mask damper is important in our components and uh, how the effect translates directly into visual representation of the building movement. First, we will look at how much the building truly moves when we um, simulate an earthquake basically by giving some movement to the building. First, if you look at it now, when we shake it, we can clearly see the movement of the building from left to right. There's quite some uh, lateral shift. Now, we will do the same with the tune mask damper. Now, we will look at how the tune mask damper directly uh, translates into the building. Uh, now, we are going to use uh, apply the same uh, magnitude of earthquake on to the building with the tune mask damper. Now we can clearly see that the building is absolutely stationary but the tune mask damper is which is moving. So we know that when an earthquake or any lateral movement affects, the tune mask damper moves in the opposite direction of which the building would uh, truly move, thus keeping the building stationary and cancelling out the inertia.